Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, as Trump's return to the White House is getting closer, the senior executives of the Biden team, who are about to step down have begun to speak out, and most people believe that the sanctions in the past have no effect. At the same time, more foreign media have emphasized that China has made no secret of its desire to get rid of American chips, which shows that they have a way out. In fact, when NVIDIA's shipments of AI chips were repeatedly restricted, Chinese companies have used domestic chips as the main alternative. And with the extensive regulatory measures released by Biden before he left office this year, the Domestic Semiconductor Association, Automobile Association, and others strongly called for cautious purchases of American chips, and the first shot to get rid of American chips has officially been fired. Faced with such rapid actions by China, the United States seems to have no choice. For now, domestic American companies oppose such a ban, and their allies, such as the Netherlands and Japan, are also worried about being retaliated against, and have been reluctant to join the ranks of encircling Chinese semiconductors. Although the United States is still constantly pressuring and urging, the attitudes of the parties have not softened. In this case, it is obvious that the United States' desire to disrupt the domestic chip replacement has not been effective. In this situation, it stands to reason that the external pressure has given domestic chips motivation and better opportunities for development. The development of domestic chips is bound to increase day by day. But what China never expected was that such a great opportunity in front of it was actually dragged down by its own people. There have been some bad rumors in the market in the past two days, such as the frequent price cutting and order grabbing of domestic chips. They are trying to win more orders from IC chip design manufacturers with a low discount. Faced with such market rumors, a senior executive of a leading wafer factory claimed that the actual situation was not so serious and said that the quotation has been quite stable since the fourth quarter of this year. That being said, China cannot ignore another problem, that is, the speech of Wei Xiaojun, an expert from the China Semiconductor Industry Association a few days ago. During the speech, he criticized the involution in the current development of domestic chips. The reason for the criticism is that their involution is not in technology, not in production capacity, but in price. According to official data, from 2023 to 2024, the sales of enterprises that entered the top 10 design enterprises have rebounded from 6.5 billion yuan to 7 billion yuan. But at the same time, their total sales were only 176.204 billion yuan, which was lower than 182.92 billion yuan in 2023. What does this mean? It means that more and more chips are sold, but the price of chip orders is constantly being pressed down. And Wei Xiaojuan's accusation, without any exception, is against this phenomenon. At present, China has to face up to a problem, that is, 
There may really be a bargaining and grabbing orders operation in domestic chips. If they just want to take the opportunity to occupy more market share and squeeze out some companies without strength, then this is understandable and this is a normal means in business. But the fear is that the purpose of their price volume is because of the force of the early investment. For example, in order to enhance their competitiveness, they spent a lot of high salaries in the early stage to dig people everywhere. Even in order to bring down their competitors, they maliciously use this method. Obviously, the development of domestic chips has unknowingly entered a situation where capital is fueling the fire. Frankly speaking, if this is the case, then it is not a good thing for domestic chips. Although China shouts that domestic chips will replace American chips, China must also clearly recognize that China is not yet ranked in the cutting-edge chip industry. In this case of low added value, China is still involuted in some aspects which cannot make the entire industry on the road to optimization. Therefore, China is facing only the survival of the fittest. The terrible thing is that China is not sure whether the eliminated ones are really disadvantaged. On the contrary, they may be really focused on chips. Today's situation reminds me of the scene when more than 10,000 companies entered the semiconductor chip design industry due to restrictions on chips. When they entered, they completely added a false impression of full swing to the development of domestic chips. But after more than half a year, a large number of chip companies that have transformed began to shut down, and the situation that really made domestic chips take a big step forward did not appear. On the contrary, some powerful ones were swallowed up by the wave. This fully illustrates that when market resources are maliciously seized, the entire Chinese industry will find it difficult to overtake others, let alone maintain its position. If you don't want the same thing to happen again, maybe you should really listen to Wei Xiaojuan's good words. Finally, what do you think of the current development of domestic chips? If this continues, can China continue to rise as expected without external pressure? Welcome to leave comments, likes and shares.